Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we've painted each other. Yes. Can you just for Instagram purposes, can you can you tell us your name and um and who you are? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm Diana Carolina Lopez. I'm from Mexico and I'm a painter. I, I think I have painted in I've been painting for 12 years and I, I really love it. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me about um the types of paintings that you do about women? Yeah, I do portrait, portrait most of it, like the one behind me. That that one is my cousin. But I started painting more women. Um, because I wanted to show how we can relate with each other, uh, with our stories. And that was something very beautiful, doing it with you also. And yeah, th that's what I've been doing. But lately I've been painting more more self-portraits and it's, it's like a new stage. Can you talk about the cranes that you paint? Yeah. <laughs> that that's a very nice story because I've been wanted to to take a certification uh, a certificate in in New York at the New York Academy of Art but it's expensive for me so <laughs> I remember that there's a there's a story a Japanese story that says that if you make a a thousand cranes with paper your biggest dream comes true so um, I started to painting them and selling them to save the money for the the certificate and it has been really nice how people when they hear the the story behind behind it and and why I'm painting them they support me I've been making little paintings and also jewelry and and other ideas with the cranes. So it, it's it's really beautiful to see how people get excited with, with it. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I came to visit you in your studio, I bought, I was drawn to a pendant that you you painted a paper crane and then you and then the paper crane was inside the pendant. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love it. <laughs> and I love the symbolism of the crane because it's about prosperity. I didn't I didn't know much about the paper cranes until we met, and um, and it, I just think it's so beautiful. You know, when we first met, it was like an instant connection. Right. <laughs> um, you you are just a, such a beautiful spirit, and you too. I, I'm so. When I saw your paintings in person, I was just like blown away, you know, because we just see each other on Instagram and that's how we initially met. And your paintings are very large scale, very detailed, um, incredible. And they really show the soul. You really capture the spirit of the person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I think we can we can share our paintings. Ours is right behind me. Um, so you can see there are some cranes. Yeah, that's crazy how, how you paint them. Yeah, so I painted a thousand cranes for you um, oh. because oh. you have inspired me so much. And one thing uh, you forgot to mention is that um, you donate uh, a portion of your your what you make to a charity. Can you can you talk about that? Yeah, of course. Because when I started uh, the project with the cranes, uh, I was feeling very close to feminism because mm, of my story, but also listening to other women. And so I decided that I, I, I maybe um, achieve this goal, but I may not. <clears throat> but either whatever it happens, I would like to do something for someone else. So that's why I just started donating a, 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 a part of the money to um, an association named uh, Voces Humanizando la Justicia. They are in Mexico City and they support, support 
uh, I mean, cases with violence, um, and they are, are very, very good. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we both have a passion is, is supporting women and raising awareness about gender-based violence and the healing process that goes into that. And the donate the, the organization that I donate to is also in Mexico City. It's called Fondo Maria. So when we both learned that, we were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's both very um special and important for us in our life just another yeah. thing we had in common right yeah and something that that I also mentioned when I wrote uh, about your your painting <clears throat> was the fact that we both are only child that it's also something that we were like oh because it's not easy to find only childs in our generation, right? Exactly. Yeah. Especially um, in Mexico, people have many children, right? Yeah. So you, I also photographed you for the Healing Words Project, which is uh, what your painting, the painting I created is based off. And you picked um, words to write on your body to represent your empowerment and your healing. And you chose uh, uh, free soul or free spirit, wisdom mm -hmm. and patience all things that have happened in your healing journey. And so, of course, those were incorporated in, in your painting. You are such a free soul. I mean, you are such a free spirit and you do so many things and and despite odds that you've had, and I'm just so inspired by you. Mm -hmm. And I, when I met you, I just fell in love with you immediately. And it's very, because I sometimes I don't see those characteristics in me mm -hmm. I see it in other women and it, it has been very beautiful how you have you have seen it seen it in me and when I hear you it's like oh maybe I do have them <laughs> a therapist friend told me once we study and we uh, engage in things in our life that we 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 want to achieve or that we need to learn for ourselves that maybe we we have struggled with in the past until we master them you know you have you mentioned to me many times that you paint women with free, who you see this free soul in them this free spirit in them that yeah. that inspires you and all the while you are the free soul i'm going to show you my painting so here's the painting it's far away so i'm going to and there's a little oh, bit of flare. Wow. It's three feet by three feet. So it's very big. Wow. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to get you in close so you can see your beautiful face. Mm. I mean, you're just so stunning. I just loved painting you for hours and hours. It's you know, all the cranes and wow. the words. It's so beautiful. <laughs> wow. And here's here's the crane that you were holding when we, when I photographed you. Mm -hmm. And then oh, sorry, that's hard to oh and they're beautiful. The thing that I love about loved about painting your um your face is that you're just so you're so strong and so poised and so confident. I just yeah, love the process. I I love the, the body language like very uh -huh to say it but uh, like confident like a yeah yeah solid. <laughs> yeah I love it and I, I love that you uh, use the grains behind me like surrounded it's it's so nice because I was thinking that sometimes when I when I thought about the grains I, I was feeling very lonely like oh no how how I'm going to achieve this gold mm -hmm. and then that idea came to me and then I share it, and now that is that I can see it in a painting, beautiful that you made is like wow! It's like showing me and teaching me that dreams can came true, and and others can support you and and be with you by your side. Yes, thank you. It's very beautiful, and I love you. I love, oh, I love you too. I'm in love with you with this process. You're just an incredible human. Oh. And it was kind of the same for me because I I I was in a person in personal situations and a lot of chaos in my mind. But when I was sitting painting you, it was like being in front of an angel, like, oh, she gives me so much peace that I I, I didn't want to stand of my chair like I don't want I want to be here all day 
<laughs> and and it, it was very yeah like you you give me calm and like everything is going to be fine i had that that feeling when i was painting you so um also also i i i remember that you share with me um your there's there's the stories behind your tattoos that are very important for you and that's why i i paint your hand when when where you can see your your um dragonfly tattoo that means if if we can share it, course, the, yeah. re the relationship. Uh, also, with I, so here's my dragon tattoo. The the relationship with your mom, and that was very beautiful because, uh, as an only child of a single mom, I I could relate with it also. That what what I liked the most was what you told me about the one behind with the load of flowers. So. And I also like the the canvas that I choose because it is rounded on the top. Beautiful. So I don't know. It's like like kind of I also this idea of an angel on my canvas. <laughs> so I'm going to bring it. Oh wow! It's just so beautiful. It it's me. It looks just like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and everyone that comes to the studio is like wow it's so beautiful she's so beautiful yeah and I, I like how uh, your blouse looks like kind of flowerish yeah so, yeah the same with the background you are amazing I mean you are amazing at painting fabric too <laughs> I really enjoy painting fabric I'm so blown away it's so beautiful look at the hand it looks like a photo Oh, so beautiful. Whoa, you really got, you even got my freckles on my shoulder. Yeah. Girl, you are incredible. Yeah, because I thought those are very, like, a, how do you say it? Like a mark. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm so, so, I, I, tear, I teared up a little bit. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Well, yeah. I haven't had anyone paint me before. No, really? And I've only, I've actually only painted one self-portrait of myself. Uh -huh. This is the second, you know, usually as painters, we paint ourselves a lot to practice and I never wanted to. And so it's, it's just, it's really touching to see me through someone else's eyes. Thank you. Thank you for, for choosing me to work together and having so this deep connection is like a part of what I wrote that it was like we were friends for a long time right yeah right from the start yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it was immediate and I I that doesn't that's not that's rare you know yeah I mm -hmm. find two souls that connect like that and then are able to to paint each other it's just been a real gift so I, I thank you for this opportunity too. Okay, well, I love you. I know you have to go teach your class today. Um, yeah. So I, we will talk soon and have a beautiful day. And uh, we're going to schedule to see each other in person so we can see our paintings in person too. We were just a little yeah. bit of time. So, okay. Okay. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Bye.